Welcome to the EZU course on scheduling reports. In this course, I will show you how to save and schedule a report to be delivered by email. This is useful if you have data you like to check up on regularly and would like the data to be sent to you on a consistent basis such as the book of business or tasks. First, you must have a report saved before you can schedule. To save a report, click on the save or floppy disk icon. A pop-up will appear for you to save the report. Give the report a name, description, and date range. You have a few date ranges to choose from. Week to date will start on a Sunday and end on the date the report is run. Month to date will start on the first date of the month and end on the date the report is run. Finally, rolling 12 months will roll back exactly one year from the date the report is run. If you need more information about the date ranges, please read our How to Save and Schedule Reports article. Please note, if a date range is not selected, the report will generate with the exact date range in the report each time it runs. If you do not have access to save reports, please reach out to your agency admin. When ready, click Save to save the report. Now that the report is saved, we can schedule the report. Hover over the reporting icon to the left and click on Save Report. Look at your saved report. If you have more than one saved report from different report categories, the report will be organized by the report category first, then sorted in alphabetical order. The name you give the report is listed at the top, and the second line is the type of report used to create the saved report. Under that will be the description. From here, click on the three dots next to the report you want to schedule. You will notice you have the option to run, which will generate and open the saved report. Edit will allow you to edit the report filters and it will give you the option to resave. You also notice you have the option to delete and schedule. Now, click Schedule. A pop-up will appear to schedule the report. Here, you give the scheduled report a name. Under that, enter the recipient's email, and if you have more than one recipient, the email must be separated by a comma. Next, you have the option to select the report format. Click the drop-down arrow and select either Excel, PDF, or CSV. Excel is selected by default. Under that, you can select the frequency of how often the report will run. Click on a drop down arrow. You can select from daily, weekly, bi weekly, monthly, or yearly. Next, select the run on start date for this scheduled report. Please note that the report can only be scheduled to be run between 7 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Central Time. Once finished, click Schedule, and you will receive a pop up confirmation that the report is scheduled. Next, we can view the scheduled report page. Hover over the reporting icon and click on Scheduled Reports under Reporting. Here, you will notice a list of reports that are scheduled to run. At a quick glance, you can see the scheduled report name, if the scheduled report is enabled, scheduled created date, last date run, and last status being failed or successful. Please note, your current scheduled report will not have a status until it runs. You also have next scheduled run date and actions. Click on actions. Here, you have the option to run the report, which will send the report to the email in the schedule. You can edit the report schedule. This allows you to change the name, add an email, change the format, frequency, run on date and time. Under that, you can click on history to view the history of the scheduled report. You also have the option to disable the scheduled report and delete the scheduled report. This will only delete the schedule and not the saved report. Please note, when editing the schedule, you are able to add an email, but unable to remove an email. If you need to remove an email, you must go back to the save report section and reschedule the report, then delete the old scheduled report. If you have multiple scheduled reports, you can navigate this page by using the arrows to the bottom left and change the page size by using the drop down menu to the right. That is all for this easy U course on scheduled reports. You should now have the knowledge and skill needed to save and schedule reports.